I fell and not just a slip up, but one of those knee scraping, road rash making, skin taking falls. See, I fell hard. And as one might imagine, it hurt. A toll taking, soul shifting, spirit breaking, crushing hurt. But what could I expect except punishment? But how did you get here? But how did you get here? But how did you get here? Small but steady, quiet and heavy goes the voice questioning. The darkness surrounding the place that I lay my head. In the prison of an affection-based complacency, God met me in the middle of going rock bottom. One would have thought he would have saved me, but conveniently, I went through that process when I was 13. So instead, there was questioning. But how did you get there? This voice, the sole reason for my soul's existence, speaks and in the distance of the deep, dark, dank abyss that is my room, a real begins. Not of sins, but rewinding back to when I was a happier person, before life turned hurtful. But how did I get here? She looks through the ceiling skylight hopeful, begins pulling back the components of a jail cell of false comfort, served on starters with uncertainty of who she is. This... This is where God met me. Spring blankets, summer sheets, fall covers, winter quilts, hotel, motel, backseat of his whip. Not really. Nothing new under the sun. What's done has been done, including my salvation. Sure and steady. Hard and heavy. Yet light and airy. A voice came to me. Standing to feet over the shoulder, I peeked to see the hell I'd escaped. It's a sight to see the fate of our bad decisions. As one's no longer in danger of dying, I fell hard. There were some things I didn't let go. There were a lot of smiles forced, a lot of words cursed, and you know what made it worse? Using Jesus as a clever cover, nonchalantly judging, found myself falling in the same sin religions usually clouded in. Surprising, isn't it? Not really. But I'm still in awe of the fact that I'm chosen to provide open and honest discussion about these mistakes. Living and learning is what it takes to teach someone else that their face, their voice, their spirit is uniquely necessary to the kingdom's purpose of giving pure love and truth to those who will hear it. So that when they fall, and we all fall, the getting up will not only cause a change, but a chance to evaluate. Just how, just how did I get here?